One sec, sorry people. <laughs> Safe cut. Fam, do you know what? I don't even want to be a part of this thing no more. I might all walk out. David De Gea is number six. Should yeah. be number one. Should be number one. He don't even want to play I'll for you. I'll tell you though. why. He don't even want to play for you though. You don't want to play for him. You don't want to play I for you. He was all there trying to submit transfer papers, like care. shouting at the administration team for getting it care. in late. Like, ah! I don't care. Well, I don't think she's this high. Definitely in the list. We put Kishoni and the hair in the list because they're just. Yeah. It's hard to put them, like I said, it's hard to put them against defensive players and attacking it? players. Like, it's very hard. His reflexes are mad. His agility is mad. Like, it's like he has no bones. Just the ball be over there and just grab it, calm. He's just wild, fam. Like the is wild. Their defense is shit. Bar small in, so like naturally the hay is gonna get even more focused than an average goalkeeper would because he's got more to do. Yeah. I think this the hay's got to be in. Got to be in. He made sure they got Europe. But, they got that. but do you know what I mean? He made sure they got top four. The hay up to me is the equivalent to Superman. The amount of times he has saved people. I remember one game, De Gea versus Everton. The saves were ridiculous. Best keeper in the world. I'm yeah, say it. straight. Might as well, isn't it? Yeah, he's the best keeper in best the world. Best keeper in the world. De Gea is the best keeper in the world. I don't, and I, to be fair, you're going to hear some people talking about it, because I know. They're going to name a keeper that they don't watch every week, like probably a foreign keeper that's probably like 20 something coming up. Oh no, but you don't watch his games. He's great. No, yeah, he's going to be better than De Gea just because he don't play in the Premier League. No, fam, De Gea is the best keeper in the world. Done talk. But without the hair, you lot are just like her. It's like nah, seeing a girl come in from a rave and like, you know, in the morning, she, all the makeup stuck on the pillow. Like, it's just Stragglers. different, completely different. Jort breaks my heart. We shouldn't even be talking about David Hair right now. He should be in sunny Madrid with a pina colada in his native country, his getting girl. major peas with his missus, enjoying life at the burnabout. But what is he doing? He's at Cold Trafford playing shit football and with think, dead players like to, Memphis. To think all of that is because of one fax machine. By hook or by crook, we'll keep him there. It's a dodgy fax machine. We'll we, don't, keep him there. we don't mind, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't, it's all good, it's all good. Well done to Ed Woodward for keeping Dave in Manchester. Dave deserves to be on this list. Well done, should be nah, higher up the list. He's sick, he's is sick. he the high, highest rated goalkeeper on this list? Should be in real right now. Man. Should be relaxing on the beach with Ronaldo and that, but. Next season, next season. To be fair, the fact that he's the only goalkeeper in this list proves that he is definitely the best goalkeeper in the league. If it weren't for him, United would be where Chelsea are right now. Right, I'm telling you, he has saved United too many times this season. The only time he couldn't save them is when they come carpet because we're not on this joke team. He could save us, he could save Leon Knight from his cupboard. That man, he could save a lot of shit. The amount of points he saved them is ridiculous. Uh, do you know what, once again, I feel very sorry for David De Gea because he literally dragged them into Champions League for them to get dropped out back into Europa. So imagine you did all that work. You yeah. saved them all that points. And they then. scraped six points above us into Euro into the Champions League qualification place. And, and then they just dropped back into oh. Europa. You are a joke. And he pulled out some worldies in the Champions No, you're, you're a fucking joke. Seriously. We could have took that Champions League spot and made use of it. We would have got to the, the knockout rounds. A hundred percent we would have got to the knockout rounds. You lot take it. You, you play your qualifier and then you just fall back into... What was the point? The whole of your campaign last season is a write-off. It was in vain. It was in vain. This Donny should be a fucking accountant. He will save you so much money. He saves United all the time. He can save the fucking Greek economy. He saves... Ev How the hell is he number six? Should he be number six? I think, by everybody's votes, he should have been a bit higher. But... The fact that he's the only goalkeeper in there, I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to say, yeah, I agree with that one. David De Gea deserves to be there because I think that's a perfect position, sixth. You're like in the middle. You, this is the best 12 we're talking about. Yo, he could have been a Galactico. I know. Instead, he's a Red Devil. Had his own post drop in there. Galactico, Red Devil. Who would you rather be? Who would you rather be? Just think about that.